and Grimes and Moses coming in good header up by Kenny Sanson Wilkins run back by Augustin to right side oh always in the thick of the action Stuart Robson Brian Robson won it from Torbett and right side here's White side to Brian Robson a mistake by David O'Leary let in Norman Whiteside he had the intelligence to play the short ball to Brian Robson his right foot not his best but it still made George Wood scramble to gather at the second attempt ten minutes left in the first half away by McQueen to Ricks Robson is again well forward for Arsenal and Bailey comes to meet him and here comes Petrovic and he's Robson's in there and so is Woodcock a terrible mix-up involving Gary Bailey and Petrovic did the right thing he played the short ball in Stuart Robson jabbed it goalwards and Tony Woodcock was there as well to make absolutely sure Petrovic goes to the line he pulls it back Bailey's dropped it in by Robson and Woodcock yes he will surely claim he got the touch before it crossed so Lee Chapman on for Arsenal at the beginning of the second half as substitute for Stuart Robson who turned his ankle in that collision with Arthur Orbiston Chapman was out of the game for three months with injury and loss of form but returned last week as sub and he's on again now as a striker obviously with Graham Rick surely reverting to midfield Grimes Orbiston making a run forward down the left here comes Brian Robson. He's in with a chance. Yes! The Manchester United captain has equalised. Five minutes into the second half. A well-taken goal. As the play developed down the left, Brian Robson made his run across the penalty area, evaded the challenge, and with his left foot wide of George Wood's left hand. For Robson, who only came back into the side last week, it's his second goal in two matches. He scored against Southampton and now takes his total for the season to 12. But more important, puts this semi-final back on the boil. Here he is again, Robson. Stapleton. Number 10, right side. And a chance for Robson again. Good save by George Wood. But just listen now to the fans of Manchester United. But here come United again. Ray Wilkins. Orbiston. Wilkins once more. Stapleton near post. Sets it up. And driven right across. And Norman Whiteside seems to be involved in nearly everything. couldn't reach it, right side could and Grimes completely went over the ball Orbiston corner Ashley Grimes took a swing 
but he missed the ball completely. Manchester United, though, forcing a corner which he will take. The lineup from the near post Whiteside, McQueen, Stapleton. Two others to come in. One of them was Brian Robson and turned over brilliantly by George Wood from Robson's header. Johnny Hollins on the post, but it was Wood's tip over that saved Arsenal. Corner again, Wilkins. McQueen comes near post. And Petrovic half away. What a good save by the Arsenal keeper. Chapman's there. So too now is Hollins. Petrovic is wide, so is Talbot. Petrovic. Away this time by McQueen. And a drive by Hollins. All oh, Grimes is onside, and so is Whiteside here. Oh, I say! It's amazing! It's absolutely fantastic what Whiteside has achieved. He's put Manchester United in front. Only three weeks after scoring at Wembley in the Milk Cup final, he's restored the pride to Old Trafford. They've come from behind. Arthur Ormiston forward. Norman Whiteside saw his opportunity. He came from an inside left position. Onside, said the linesman. The volley with his left foot, absolutely perfect. And he's not 18 years old until May the 7th. And the goal has come. 20 minutes from the end of the semi. And that was McQueen. Collins down the line, a good ball. Graham Ricks. There are three waiting in the centre here for Arsenal. And Chapman's one of them, and so too is Woodcock, who might have made more of that. Tony Woodcock, not as strong on the right foot as he is on the left. And for an England striker, you might have expected him to have tested Gary Bailey rather better. Here's Paul Davis. Corner to Arsenal. Talbot and Ricks on the ball. O'Leary near post. Played right back to Kenny Sampson. A good challenge by Grimes. And Manchester United have got an extra man. Can they use him? Grimes has got Robson and right side to his left. Robson's got to be careful not to go offside. Grimes has gone alone. And the tackle coming in from John Hollins. Grimes will now take the corner. McQueen has stayed back, but Moran is up. And off Moran's head, he got another awful crack there in the face. Put back in by Wilkins, and off the head of White. It's going to come to Ashley Grimes to drive one, and goodness me, Stapleton almost got a header to it. And Kevin Moran is in a terrible way now. He's pouring with blood. That already had a cut. His face was already badly damaged by an earlier collision. And now it's got worse. And there'll be anxiety there on the bench. The substitute is a centre-half, Paul McGrath. But Ron Atkinson is hoping the fates don't interfere here. Because Kevin Moore, and apart from bleeding badly, must also be stunned. So, with only five minutes of normal time left, Paul McGrath is thrust into his first ever FA Cup tie as a substitute.
for Kevin Moran, who goes off on a stretcher, keeping his stomach to say to the others, we're nearly at Wembley.